there are wines that make me happy. And this is one of them. Tokai. Um, the reason I'm trying this today is because normally there's a metal shield on this bottle um, and um, this one didn't come with it so I can't sell it. Um, so I thought it was a good excuse to open it and educate my staff on Tokai and take the rest of the bottle home for me to drink. Apologies for Margot going for a wee wander in the background there. Yep, she's off back to her bed. Anyway, um, so this is Tokai Classic Winery. Um, Five Putonios, 2011. Um, it is made with a ferment grape in Hungary, in the Tokai region. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So, on the nose, loads of apples, really masses and masses of apples. And then you get this rhubarb character coming through as well. There's, there's jasmine, there's, there's a sort of sweeter honey uh, note coming off too. And just a, just a really, really lovely, soft, floral, um, fruity aroma. It's, it's just a brilliant, brilliant nose. <laughs> if you all know how much I love port and but if there is one wine I had to just drink, if I couldn't drink anything else, it would be Tokai. Because what you get from it is this phenomenal uh, balance of um, powerful flavor. So lots and lots of uh, sort of sweet honeys and uh, apricots and peaches and, and, and that rhubarb is still there, giving a sort of tartness to it. But then you've got beautifully balanced acidity, but loads of sugar, I mean loads of sugar. Um, um, uh, and, 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 and it's that, the way that it sort of balances out that, that, that unbelievable sweetness with, with that freshness and that, that acidity and it just keeps it being inviting and you wanna keep coming back and getting more and more of this. Um, now it's not cheap. Uh, 37.50 I think for the 50 centilitre bottle of this so it is not a cheap bottle of wine it's it is something that is is very pricey but it's it's one of these wines that everybody has to try at some point in their in their, their life I was very fortunate uh, uh, probably oh, nearly 15 years ago to go to a vertical tasting of, of Tokai and um, it had, there were vintages going back to the 1940s and that sort of imprinted itself on my brain and it's never left. And, and how these wines age, even the entry level things, they just age and age and age and age and age brilliantly. Um, so, so this, I think this has probably got another sort of, well, however long, 50 years, 100 years, I don't know. But it's, um, but it's beautiful now, really just, just, just so approachable. And, and this with something very simple dessert-wise or a, a custard tart or, a, or um, some nice cheese, some, some uh, blue cheese that isn't too powerful. You'd be so happy, so happy. Um, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a happy man. And on that note, um, being late as it is, I'm going to go to bed and have um, have a good night's sleep because I, I look a bit jaded. I think I, I think I need some sleep, but I'm going to go back to bed a happy man because I've, I've had some of this this evening and the rest will be drunk tomorrow. So have a lovely day. Do give this a go, 96 points easily. It's brilliant, it's fabulous, it's delicious. You should get some. Have a lovely day, bye.